My name is Lisa Jackson. I was at Princeton from uh, 83 to 86, got my master's in chemical engineering, and now I serve as administrator of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. My engineering background is extremely important to the job I do every day. It gives me a different perspective from others. Engineering is about problem solving. A lot of the issues we deal with here at EPA are technical in nature. And one of the things I said from day one is that our entire work has to be based on the best science we can muster for the American people. Probably the biggest adjustment has been the move and the pace of work here in Washington. It's, it's great because there's huge expectation that we're going to bring this agency back, that we're going to restore EPA to its place as the protector of air and water and land. But that means a huge agenda. And so we're working awful hard here. You know, a little bit later today, I'll be speaking to uh, students, high school students, in an organization called Jack and Jill. They're African-American kids, and they're coming to D.C. as part of a leadership program. It's so important for us at EPA to build and continue to build our uh, recognition of our mission with youth. The youth have always cared about uh, the environment and pushed our issues, and this generation is all about being green, and we want to encourage that. I speak about uh, the devastation from Hurricane Katrina uh, often. My mom lost her home. She's actually sold, uh, was left of it back to the state of Louisiana and moved up to Bossier City. Katrina was not only a, a tragedy, it was an environmental catastrophe as well. And I remind people that when those wetlands were being tuned up, the people who suffered most from the damage in the low-lying areas of the city, who happened to be people of color, had nothing to do with the decisions made on those wetlands. So making gumbo and making Washington policy, gumbo, of course, even the word is all about a mixture and bringing together these ingredients and letting them simmer and coming out with something really good. And obviously, policy and politics is very much the same thing. If we're going to be successful in environmental policy, it's about bringing all the people who care about it, all the stakeholders we call them together, and coming out with the best solution. You know, my time at Princeton and the engineering school uh, certainly influenced where I am today. At that point, I worked on uh, environmental issues, and Princeton had a history of being involved in some of the first environmental studies that were done up in Woburn, Massachusetts on groundwater. And uh, I worked with folks who did that research and certainly influenced and uh, enhanced my interest in the environmental field. My name is Lisa Jackson, and I'm a Princeton engineer.